Um, I've been getting a lot of questions regarding the Moe's Creatures mod. People want to see how to exactly install it. Um, I might also make another video for the Battle Tower mod or whatever mod you guys really want me to uh, show how to install. Because, you know, the more popular mods get, the more people want to try them, and the more people will be looking for instructions on how to install them. And there are already numerous um, tutorials on how to install them on uh, Windows, so I'm, I pretty much looked into it, and it's pretty much the same, although people will still get confused exactly how to install the mods. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and open up. See, I want the werewolves too. <laughs> go show you how to install both of those. And we also need the audio mod and the mod loader. So we're going to go up in here. Down these, download these to my desktop. <whistles> Do -do -do. Download to the desktop. Now right here we need to find mod loader. To the desktop. And this is the same page I was on. Uh, here's his elementals mod. Um, more worlds. Audio mod. There you go. And desktop. All right, we're gonna go ahead and close all these out. And I'm going to minimize this. Close this. Minimize my recording. Close that. And. Ah, here they are. Hiding from me. Here we got Mod Loader, Audio Mod, Mo Creatures, and Werewolves. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and we're going to oh, right click, extract them all. close all these folders for now and here we got audio mod we got our mod loader the full and the werewolf add-on next I'm going to pull out my minecraft.jar it's in I'll show you where it is it's in your home your home your username library application support Minecraft inside the bin folder and it'll be in here. I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to leave that up for now. I'm going to right click on it and extract it. I'm going to go ahead and extract it with the archive utility. This archive utility comes already installed on OS X. If uh, you can't figure that out how to find one then you can download the unarchiver. Just Google search it. And here we are. Go ahead and delete that because everything that was in here is now in here. Now I'm going to pull up Mo Creatures mod full and pull up this. Alright, your Minecraft folder that you just extracted is going to be filled with these class files. Now the first thing I want you to do, and this is something I didn't mention on my last video, I should have done that. You need to delete the meta-inf file. What this basically does is it breaks your mods and it makes the minecraft.jar not load the game. So as soon as you got that deleted, you come over here. There are two things you need to add with this mod. You need to add folders to add to your resources which is in the same folder where you find your bin you go in here into resources and I had already installed it 
So I'm going to go ahead and... Wait a minute. There's so much... Oh, I think I, I had deleted it or something. It's weird. I'm going to go ahead and just delete it all. It'll re-download when I, when I pull up the game. So I'm going to drop mod into there. These are the resources. And this is just basically just adds the sounds to the game. To the new sounds, I mean. Alright, now files to inject into your Minecraft. All of these class files. I'm going to choose to highlight all the class files, which is basically everything but the mob file. So, uh, control A, hold command, and click on the mob that selects everything but the mob. So you go into your, you copy all that into your minecraft.jar and now you click on your mob. I want you to go in here to your minecraft folder. I had this problem when I was, when I tried it out the first time. Uh, you need to find mob first. Mob. Uh, t -t 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 here we go and you copy and paste all these individual files into your mob file which is inside your minecraft.jar if you just copy mob in there with the rest of those class files it'll replace your mob file which will make things like your skeleton and your gas invisible which is something you don't want you don't want an invisible skeleton shooting at you no 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 Alright. So then I'm going to go into Werewolves and pretty much do the same thing. Files to inject. Uh, replace. Mob. Toss that into the mob file. Resources. Pretty much do the same thing you do with the mobs. You go into sound. And copy and paste. Alright. So now, we're not done. We still need two more things. We need our audio mod which we downloaded. So we're going to pull this out, toss uh, QV slash, or the QV class in there, replace. Now we're going to want to find the Paul's code file. Do the same thing we did before. The codex. then ibxm is in a file that's inside minecraft.jar so you can go ahead and toss that in there like you did the rest so now we got the audio mod installed now we need our mod loader installed which is just another copy paste and replace All right. The last thing you want to do, you want to open up the fi your folder. Now, again, make sure you got rid of your meta-inf folder. You want to go into your, your Minecraft dot your Minecraft file that you made. You you can't just click on here like compress that, otherwise it'll make a zip file with the folder Minecraft. You need a zip file that contains all of these, not just these in a folder. So, control A, select all, compress, and it'll turn into archive.zip. We need rename this folder. Oops, don't. Oh. Darn it. Screwed up there. Okay, you take your archive.zip. 
and you want to rename it minecraft.jar enter you use that jar and then you want to go back into your library application support minecraft bin and toss that in there now I'm going to go ahead and pull up this uh, one second I'm going to make it not follow my cursor around so I can show you guys exactly how it works alright we're logged in no problem the game loaded up just fine if you didn't get to this point then I suggest going back and doing something different my sounds will are downloading right now, so make sure my sounds are on. We're gonna go into an empty world. And it's a desert. Oh well, I'm going I hate I hate it when I spawn in the deserts. Why exactly do we need to spawn on sand? Is that like the magic Material Tundra Not much better. Oh Well, let's try this anyway I see something Hey, we got horses! Hello, horses. That's a hole. It's okay. Oh. Turn up my sounds a little bit. I can't barely hear them. Can you not kill horses? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Into the hole you go. So yeah, there's how to install the Mo Creatures mod. Oh, we got boars. These are wild pigs. Come at me. Oh, ah, don't hurt me. I want your meat. This guy's gonna do more damage to me than what he heals. Punch that bad guy. Haha. <laughs> oh. Alright, I'm all healed up. What was that? Linus! Die. Die. I don't want you to fight me. Minecraft. The mod can punch lions. Get away from me. I don't want what you're saying. Uh oh. She's got. Wow. She was a whole lioness. She's got two mates. Don't kill me. I want to see what's back in my spawn point. Oh, they were they were squaring off with each other, and they both got stuck or something. I don't know. All right, let's see. Um, ducks. That's the panties. That's the panties come to the chicken. <laughs> What's swimming over here? Another chicken? No, duck. Now it actually makes sense for you to swim. 
still want to kill you. Chicken, you do not belong here. This is ducks. We are all ducks. Don't aim at their feet because their hitbox is screwed up. Die. Good work. <laughs> oh, I'm having too much fun. What's up here? The boar. I think they, they randomly get mad at you if you get too close or something. I don't know. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video off now because I'm not, I'm probably not going to find anything new. I'm just going to be wandering around aimlessly. Who wants to see that? <laughs> There's a sheep. That's not new, but it's something interesting. No, it's not. Alright, I hope this video was interesting for those who were looking for it. And I uh, guess I'll see you uh, on Thursday then. Goodbye.